I look so different with just my all dark hair. Anyways, good morning friends. We are heading to Central Park today for a little picnic. I just prepared some fruit. I think we're just gonna have like fruits and drinks and not really a full on meal because our new friend here hasn't had New York bagels before. So we're gonna make sure that we get some bagels near Central Park and then we're gonna just have some snacks out in the sun. The weather's beautiful, a little windy today, but I haven't had a picnic in Central Park in a year basically and it's the quintessential summer thing to do so we're gonna go do that today A little light meal. Wanted to go to Linda Street. Of course, the line was super long. It's a Saturday, so I guess I'll never have Linda Street. But we're at Joe's instead. So that our friend here can experience his first New York City flight. Yeah? Amazing. Texture is absolutely amazing. Yeah, the texture is great. morning I am in Long Island City today taking them to the waterfront seeing Manhattan from the Queen side which is my favorite side to see it but outside here I've been wanting to come to this one particular coffee truck called Deploy Coffee it's Asian and veteran owned and I didn't know that right next to it would be a bagel spot so we're just in line gonna get some light breakfast and then walk along the waterfront soak in this beautiful Sun and the beautiful views view of Manhattan. It really doesn't matter how many times I see the skyline, it just always amazes me. This looks like Lego buildings. Everything is so 3D. Can't believe I used to live over there. Now I'm on the queen side. I like it. <laughs> I'm back home now for a little bit. I'm gonna be enjoying this Sunday afternoon alone while my friends are out in Times Square and exploring the city and then Andrew's playing basketball because that's his Sunday routine. About to do some editing, but before I do that, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Mogu Table yesterday, that really cute Asian homeware, home goods store. I got some chopstick rests as if I really need chopstick rests, but I couldn't 
resist because there were so many cute ones shaped in like little vegetables and fruits. I also got a little spoon for tea. It's like this ceramic spoon with pistachio green. I love it. Perfect for honey and tea. And then here are the chopstick breasts. A green onion. And then this is a radish. Isn't it so cute? Here, let me demonstrate how they're used. You get your chopsticks. Here, let me do this. This is a good angle. Here, let me back it up here. And just go like that. Same thing with this. Right there. Do you see that? Looks like that. It's so cute. I'm gonna finish up with some editing now, like I said. And later tonight, the plan is to go to a rooftop bar at eight. We're going to Gallo Green, which is this beautiful like garden, super green rooftop bar. And hopefully we can catch the sunset. That's like perfect sunset time. And then afterwards, we're celebrating Megan's birthday early with, well, I'm surprising her, but obviously you're gonna see later on what this restaurant is. It's called Coat. It is the world's first Michelin star Korean steakhouse. It's Korean barbecue. And she loves Korean barbecue. So I'm excited because I've been here before. It was amazing. I went with Andrew's parents maybe a couple of years ago and it was an amazing experience. They also have like an underground cocktail bar called Undercoat that has like Korean inspired cocktails, super cool ingredients. So we might stop there as well. But yeah, that is the plan for tonight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> dinner spot. Can you tell what this? it is? Well, you know what it is. Okay, so wait, can I tell you what it is? Okay. You can okay. smell what it is. Kind it's of. the world's first Michelin starred Korean barbecue restaurant. Oh. Korean steakhouse. Oh. So it's like wow. fancy. It's like the best beef. Michelin yeah, they star. They do it for you and stuff. Yeah. One Michelin star. You don't have to do anything. You just oh. eat. It's called Coat. Coat. Okay? You'll get bragging rights right. after you come there.
good morning. It's been a few days since my friend left, so I've had a little bit of time to kind of clean up the house, decompress, because to be honest, I've been super tired ever since getting back from Mexico City and then hosting and then going out and then working. I've just been, I've been exhausted and also extremely hot because New York City, or I think the entire East Coast area is going through a heat wave right now. If you're in the area, you know. So if you hear some sounds in the background, that's because the AC's on. I've been trying not to have it on when I vlog, but then I start sweating and I can't do that. Because of the heat wave, my dog has not been able to really go out much for a walk unless it's like the evening and even if so, it's a short walk. His breed isn't really good for long walks, um, especially in the heat and plus he's a little bit older. But I know that he loves getting fresh air and I still want him to at least go out and sit and just like soak in the outdoors. So today we're up a little bit early. It's 8 a.m. right now and we're gonna go to Roosevelt Island and we're not gonna do like a full on picnic but I think I just wanna go and sit out there with him. I'm gonna pack a lot of water and then I think that's it, maybe some grapes. I am gonna make a quick little avocado toast with my homemade bread before we go. but actually there's a nice breeze and when you're not moving it's not as bad. so hot. We are in Queens in Flushing. We're in the Mary Hill area, which is where all the bomb ass Korean food is. And we're gonna go to this restaurant. <laughs> Ironic that it's so hot, but we're gonna go to this restaurant that specializes in only one dish because that's all they have on the menu. It's gonna be beef soup. <sighs> is this the right decision on this kind of day? I really don't know. I'm questioning myself as I sweat from all parts of my body right now. I'm making a little Oh my god, it's so good. So soothing. And beef bony. Refilled on all the panchan. The peppers and the samjang, the omelet, and we could not have the soup without this radish kimchi. This is our third serving. very very ripe mangoes I think this one is almost I don't even know if it's still good but we'll see taste 
test. Mm. Yeah, the sticky rice, I overcooked it, but other than that, so good. I'm now going to end the vlog here. Andrew and I are gonna watch a movie on Netflix, something that I've been wanting to watch for a long time. The movie centers around two undocumented orphans living in Malaysia, and one of them, the main character who's townies in real life, he is deaf, and just about their lives, living in poverty, living in documented in Malaysia, what they go through, their relationship together as brothers, and everything they encounter. So. I've heard it's a tearjerker. I cry really easily, but I'm excited to watch it. If you're on the East Coast watching, I hope you guys are all staying cool. It's really hot. So stay cool, stay hydrated. Thank you for watching my vlog and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.